Welcome back. This is CSTV, the Lafayette Sports Network. Glad you are with us. What a first half. 46-46. We promised you entertaining basketball, and I don't think either team is uh, certainly disappointed. Dan Mounty is standing by with head football coach Frank Devani. They're going to talk about that recruiting class. Here's Frank. Here's Dan. Gary, you talk about athletic history. Football will be played on the Lafayette College campus next fall for a total of 127 years. With us right now is the head coach of the football program here at Lafayette College, Frank Tavani. Frank, welcome again to CSTV. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Big week for you this week. They announced the new recruits coming on campus for the class of 2012. That will be on the gridiron in support of your efforts. But before we get to that, they also released the official schedule for next fall. Tell us a little bit about the overview and, and what you see as some of the highlights of next season. Well, certainly be with some challenges. Uh, probably the first thing one notices is the five straight away game. So that's the first thing everybody's asking me about. Uh, hey. It's in the year that we played seven away games, and it uh, was a pretty successful year. I don't worry about where they're played, just that we'll pre be prepared to play. And uh, we're looking to an uh, exciting trip to uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, play a new team in Liberty, a really up-and-coming scholarship program, have some fine transfers in there. So that will certainly be a heck of a challenge. And, of course, uh, you know our typical Ivy League schedule and uh, the always tough Patriot League schedule. Let's jump over to recruiting, Frank. We've got some in interesting numbers, 14 on offense, 14 on defense. You covered a total of eight states. What are some of the, uh, the big holes that you felt like you had to fill with this recruiting class? Well, we always like to have a balanced class in terms of having players from every position. Certainly some positions you need a few more bodies in there, particularly in the O-line and at the linebacker spot. But really, across the board, we were able to meet all our goals in terms of numbers at positions that we were looking for except for the position of tight end we had two targeted we ended up with one but uh, all in all we really excited about the class we think there's some great skill in there some outstanding speed and some local flavor in ryan hartzell from easton who spent a year at wyoming seminary prep school and will now be joining us in the fall you know, a good portion of this class you didn't have to travel too far for. Ten lads from Pennsylvania, four from New Jersey. You did pretty well here locally. Well, no question. I think Pennsylvania, New Jersey, right where we're located, should uh, always have a good yield. A little interesting that there were six from Florida and only four from Jersey. But uh, Jersey just gets tougher and tougher to recruit, even though it's a bordering state. Heavily recruited, an awful lot of talent. We certainly hit it hard, but uh, as you well know, Florida has been outstanding for us. No doubt about it, Frank. Let's talk about some coaching changes. We see Bob Hefner listed as offensive coordinator. A nice step up for him. Well, you know, Bob and I go way back now. We've been together uh, over 20 years on and off, known each other. Bob's been here four times, back and forth. Uh, really was intricately involved in our offense and game planning and even play selection. So we really hate to see Mike go. Gave us eight great years, did an outstanding job. Mike's a great person, a good coach, and certainly got an opportunity that financially for his family and everything was a better opportunity. So we wish him nothing but the best, and we're in a situation now where I'm undergoing a national search for a new quarterback coach, uh, passing game coordinator. All right, let's uh, talk a little bit about the players. Uh, I did see Mo White here. He's rehabbing a little bit with that ankle injury. A lot of players uh, trying to get back into playing shape. Tell us a little bit about what goes on right here in mid-February. Well, right now we're on a heavy intensity program in off-season, four days a week of lifting. That's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday afternoons. And then there's running on Tuesday and Thursday morning at 6 a.m. It's a pretty rugged six-week uh, time frame for them to put in and get physically ready for spring and make the improvements strength and athletically that we're looking for in the off-season. And, of course, uh, Having to tie that in with uh, going to school as well, uh, it's a tough time on the kids. All right, that's Frank Tavani, the head coach of the Lafayette College Leopards football program. Let's bring it back to Gary and John. All right, thank you very much, Dan Mounty. This is CSTV. We've got a tie basketball game at the half. Navy